Hey, everybody. This is George. How is everybody doing? I just wanted to come online and uh, talk to you guys about uh, APEX and the funded account relationship. Um, there's a lot of trades we have in either YouTube or in our private room. A lot of them are just going through the funded relationship to try to get the skill set, you know, up to par and try to get funded and paid. And just want to share you, uh, with you my experience with uh, APEX. And uh, in the past, uh, what is that, three, mo three months, in November into December and uh, January for March, uh, I cleared three payments out of uh, APEX. So I passed their evaluation their, uh, into a PA, a performance account. Then I got to the threshold to actually withdraw money. And uh, we'll share with you those screenshots so you could see. There you go. All right, so that's the Apex uh, platform dashboard. And in February the 16th, I kind of got two grand out of it and 1700 just uh, requested that payment on that account. And so that's that. Then last year, that's my support our harmony trading system account with deal and right here that's the february uh, payment and that's the november payment that i received from them great balance with you it really feels good to be able to um you know make money off those funded accounts because it's not necessarily easy to go through it but there's a couple of skill sets that we talk about in the room that helps people actually get over that hump and i'll talk to you about it here in a minute but that's uh that's the that account and we picked up two grand and that was on november the 29th so that's that one of uh, the biggest uh problems with or challenges let's not call them problems the challenge of passing uh, the performance account is one of them is for whatever reason, people get very anxious whenever they start that that type of experience and they tend to want to pass it quickly. And the first mistake a trader will make is oversizing. So, for example, if you're going through a $50,000 account and you're trading five to 10 lots, it doesn't take too long before the threshold will do you in. And on a five contracts, it goes up at five points and you have a target of 10 and it retraces to a break even or a negative five, you're looking at a thousand dollars that just went away, not as a, as a necessarily a loss, but from your threshold, from your equity peak. And if a couple of those, you know, situations happen, you'll find yourself, you know, working with a thousand dollars trying to make 3000 and that, you know, most traders, when they, whenever they get to that point, you know, naturally that, that account will eventually and quickly will blow up. So you, you have to trade appropriate size to the actual account that you're in. And a lot of people like the 50,000 because the relationship between, you know, you can lose 2,500 and make three grand and you pass the evaluation and the, the spread between them is small, but, Unless you're trading one to two um, uh, minis and or focusing on micro, you really cannot trade any more contracts than that without having the threshold really uh, affecting your, your your performance. So you really don't have that much room in, in a, in a $50,000 account. It's almost like you're better off going for a bigger account and train yourself to to um, trade within a range and trade with multiple contracts and 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 phase in and phase out of your position versus trying to get this thing done with one or two micro uh, you know minis and be nervous about the trade because you know you take a couple of hits each one is 200 bucks that's 400 I mean you're you got two thousand to work with and the, and the threshold once it you know eats up a little bit of that, you're, you're finding yourself, you know, working with 1500 to a thousand 
and it just it just does it, it, people are just struggling with it really so make sure if you're trading the 50,000 you're going one to two and if you're you know and micros and then really explore the idea of trading bigger accounts because the bigger account really provide the spread is not perfect like okay on a three hundred thousand dollar account and I have few of those um I have to make 20 grand and I can only lose 7500 so obviously the the spread between them is a bigger bigger one but the seventy five hundred dollar spread or or risk is that's a lot of risk capital where I could put five contracts in a range and manage it in and out and even if a little bit of threshold gets eaten up from my account, I, I can get that back a lot quicker. I have the most important part of this is flexibility, the flexibility to operate in, in an average volatility market. We're trading in a hyper uh, volatile market where things are moving 50, 60 points on NASDAQ, for example. And even if you're trading ES, you still that that type of uh, volatility can can have a, a big impact. So that's the, f the first thing to get over the threshold is sizing, the appropriate sizing uh, for, for um, your trading. Um, another thing, I guess what made me, you know, pass these accounts and actually get funded is I'm focusing on a very, I have to under trade. That's just a, a given. The more I, I trade, the higher probability, you know, you know, I get to a sequence of stops. So the premium hours at that that one hour between nine o'clock central to 10. And that's where I put place most of my trades. I, I just need a couple of good trades. I mean, literally wait, wait, wait till I find everything line lines up within my system, the harmony trading system, and just basically let it execute. Sometimes I win, sometimes I don't, but over time, I'm not over trading and I'm looking for a risk reward one to one, one to two, and I'm keeping my, my stops tight. Okay. So this way, a sequence of profitable trades are, you know, going to get me to be positive and it keeps my threshold near the top end of that range. So those three accounts, I I never went down more than like maybe three or four hundred dollars from peak equity peak, and and partly due to just me getting in, getting out within you know uh, that first uh, hour of trading, and just kind of be be hyper focused on the highest quality signals. And once I'm up three four hundred bucks, sometimes I'm up six hundred bucks, I'm out, I'm done call it a day. Um, and the, another way I did it is I didn't necessarily take too many accounts. Like I didn't do like 10 accounts at a time or anything like that. I just did it one account at a time and just passed it through the whole process. I, you know, that just me personally, but once you, you, you get through that process once and you prove that you can do it, then you could do as many contra uh, as many accounts as you want to. So sizing is critical. Averaging in uh, a range is important. So for example, I mean, you're looking at trades in the harmony system, like for example, like this, you know, you're getting in here at one contract, you're adding another contract here, and then you're shooting up for a target at 77. And you're looking for signals into Globex. Some of these signals are, uh, you know, very good with threshold. Each, each one of these levels are threshold level, where once you pass one, you're going for the next one, and uh, you're putting a stop at the at the bottom end of that range, and you just keep keep, you know, moving it along as the trade moves in your favor, and then you tighten it as you get closer to your target. This way, you're the the if the market reverses, it's not going to take as much out of your your threshold as as if you were looking for a 50 point target. That's another thing with Apex or any funded account that has a threshold. If you look for a huge target, like a 50 to hundred point target and the market reverses on you and you have a lot of size, boom, it's all gone. You know, so you gotta, 
you got to almost look for scalping opportunities and with small size, but once the trade works in your favor, add to it and, you know, phase in with multiple contracts and phase out with multiple contracts versus like, for example, if you want to, if you, even if you have a big account, uh, like a $300,000, if you go just go immediately five contracts or 10 contracts in and the market just runs up 10 points and comes back down quickly. I mean, that just eats up like two or three grand out of your, you know, your threshold and you just cannot afford that. So you're better off starting small and then um, kind of, uh, you know, take your profits and add to the trade as it's, uh, as it pro progresses. So sizing is important. The way you're entering these trades uh, and you're accumulating is important. And uh, the hours in which you trade are very important. And your mental balance is even more important than all of that stuff. Because you're just going to have to be calm uh, throughout the whole process and make sure that, you, you know, and the less you trade, the better off you are, to be honest with you. So um, that first, first hour, hour and a half is all you need. And hit one or good trades and, and be done with it. So we passed and got funded and got paid on three accounts. And I have multiple more accounts that I'm working on through that same same process. And um, hopefully this is helping you guys uh, understand uh, Apex a little bit better and what it takes to win in that game. And I'll do more videos like that that you know discusses sizing, entries, timing, um, and you know how to win the Apex game and how to beat that menace of a threshold and good luck everybody just keep grinding keep working it will be all right all right have a good one